storyline sort of was this the game Michael Shanks sort of carried the load offensively in the first half, but it got a little more fun for you guys when everybody else started contributing. Yeah, I thought Michael was as good as he's played since since I've been here in these two years. I thought he was fantastic. I thought he rebounded. He um, made the extra pass. He was good defensively. Um, hit shots inside. Uh, hit shots from the three. I mean, he was he was really good and. Uh, I thought uh, he relaxed and played today and, and played like a leader, senior leader's got to play uh, for a team that was really desperately trying to, to rebound from a tough loss last last Tuesday. And I just thought Michael was fantastic. And then I thought everybody else followed his lead and that's what they're supposed to do. And, um, you know, and I thought I thought Braden Freeman is solid as always. Connor Deffenball got us in our stuff. I thought the job he did defensively was fantastic. I thought all of our guys were good defensively. You know, Colton Simmons and Josh got it going today at different different times to help us. Um, we were missing Sawyer Price. He he's allergic to dairy products and had a reaction about uh, 10 minutes before we took the floor. He came in to me and said, "I've I've got to go." And and uh, his, his folks took him to the ER and and he's been on IV during our game and just came back and everything's good. But we were short of him tonight and I thought Thane Spencer did a great job. Max Chambers came in and got great minutes from him and I just thought it was a great team effort for, for our team and, and uh, a nice bounce back. Your offense struggled throughout the game really. Yes. Oh, we did. We we just we didn't make shots, and uh, you know what? It happens sometimes, especially when you when you run the style of offense that we run. You know what? If you don't shoot the ball well, you you struggle. And uh, you know, I thought um, uh, our, our struggles uh, carried over to the defensive end as well. Yeah, and especially a uh, telltale. You didn't get to the free throw line whatsoever. No, and that and that is that is that is a little disheartening, just simply because we're. You know, we're used to at least making attempts to get to the free throw line, and tonight we, we just we didn't do a very good job. Yeah. And it, it seemed like, you know, you first half, you know, Shanks was trying to control it for Bentonville, but you were staying within distance. But when Bentonville's other players started contributing, that's when things got out of hand. Well, it, it goes back to not making field goals. I mean, you know, you look at the number of field goals we missed around the basket earlier in, in the, you know, in the first quarter and kind of in the second quarter. And, that, you know, what, when you have four or five of those that don't fall, um, and, and the other team is scoring on the other end. It puts a lot of pressure on you defensively, and that's ultimately that's what happened. We, you know, your, your defense is only going to be good for so long if you're and if you're not scoring, uh, then you're, it, it it just doubles itself in a hurry.